Uh, hi everyone, so in this video I will be explaining the problem maximum score of a good subarray and this problem might look like a hard problem but this uh, after uh, this if you watch this video we will say that you will say that this is not a very difficult problem it is quite a easy to medium level question. So there is a prerequisite to solve this problem and the prerequisite is that please go and solve this problem near a smaller element. Uh, the algorithm that is being used to solve this problem is a standard stack and Q, a stack problem question. This is a sta standard problem and this algorithm it will be used to solve this problem. So I will be uh, writing the coding part to, but I won't be explaining in much detail. So please go and solve this problem. And uh, when I was solving this problem, I realized that basically this problem and this problem are exactly same. Their codes are entirely same. I did it half a year back and there is just a little change, but basically you can just copy and paste. So anyway, uh, let's get into the problem. So I will be explaining the problem from this, uh, uh, from this example uh, and, and I, then I will be coding it. So what the problem says is that I have to select a range in an array and such that the I have to multiply the length of the range. So for example, in this case, the length of the range is 4 with the element that is minimum in this range, which is 3. So 3 into 4, 7. So uh, if you see, uh, so I have just built a histogram using this same example. So 1, 4, 3, 7, 5. So this is 1, uh, 4, 3, 7 and 4 and 5 heights. So, you know, what you can do is that you can select a range, uh, select a range of various lengths, 3, 2, 4 uh, and so on and then say find the minimum element and then multiply it. But that will be a very expensive and foolish way to do solve this problem. So what I will be doing is that I will select a particular uh, element. Say if I select 4, then I will think, okay, if my minimum element in the range was 4, then how long, how long will that range extend? Okay, so if my range was, uh, minimum element was 4, I will go to the right and say, uh, say, okay, I can safely extend my range till here. Then I will go to the left. So I, I go to the left and can I uh, go, uh, I come here, can I go further? If I go further, if I make my range like this, uh, it will be wrong because you know what I have assumed that 4 is the minimum element in the range but here uh, 3 is also coming but three, uh, if I uh, make a range like this then in that case 3 will be my minimum element so the thing is that I can't go beyond this point okay so similarly in case of 7 in case of 7 I can't I am trapped between this point the range can only uh, be this much in case of 5 the range can only be this much in case of 3 in case of 3 I can go till here only because if I include this thing also in my range then my assumption that 3 is the minimum element in the range will be wrong in left I can go as long as possible okay so this basically reminds me that I have to find the for example for 3 I have to find the element that is smaller uh, nearest smaller in the left okay so nearest smaller in the left will be this and nearest smaller in the right will be basically nothing so what I will be doing is that I will be calculating the indexes of the uh, nearest smaller left and nearest smaller right so for example in case of 3 in case of 3 the nearest smaller element on left is going to be 1 so its index is 0 and in the right side there is nothing so I will write uh, 6 6 as a fictitious, fictitious index so in case of 1 there is nothing uh, smaller on the left side so I will write minus 1 and in the right side there is also nothing that is smaller than 1 so I will write 6 so what I will be doing is that so here my minimum element is 3 and by using these two numbers I will get the range so I will just multiply it okay so please rewatch this rewind this if you have any doubt uh, so now I will, be co I will be coding and explaining simultaneously so let's code it so again, I remind you that please do this stack standard problem. Uh, so anyway, you would have done it. So let's solve the problem. Okay, so I will just code it and it will be super clear to you. So first of all, I will make a, a variable int n is equal to 
vector int nsl so you know what my approach is going to be is that my main thing is to get these two arrays and my problem is solved I have to get these two arrays and then I have to simply just multiply it. Okay, so well, the main thing is to get these two arrays, and uh, so let's name these arrays NSL nearest smaller left and NSR nearest smaller right. Aditya Verma fans, are you here? <laughs> uh, he's a, a great coder. So vector int NSL. Uh, so to get NSL, I will make a function called NSL and I will. NSR is equal to uh, NSR into nums. So these two functions will give me these uh, these arrays. Okay. So let's write these arrays. Uh, write this function, and you know these two functions are basically copy paste of each other. So after writing one uh, function, it will be very much clear. Vector int uh, NSL. So in this, I am passing this vector vector int ampersand num. I will make a stack so stack will be stack int s okay now uh, I will make a vector vector int res so basically I will be uh, making this NSL in this res vector and I will return it to get this okay so now what I will do is write I will write a, write a for loop for int i is equal to 0 i less than what uh, i plus plus okay now what i will do is that i will write a function so i will write a while loop while is not s dot empty and 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 nums of s dot top is greater than equal to nums i so you know if you don't understand this then please write in the comment so the, I, I will make a separate video just to solve this part the, uh, so this is basically the code that is being used here so that code is i am writing uh, so please uh, write in the comments if you don't understand it i will make a separate video for this so if uh, what if s dot s is empty if s is empty so mm, if s f is empty then what i will do is that i will just do res dot push underscore back res dot push back minus one and if it is not empty then what i will do is that i will do res dot push underscore back what uh, s dot top so uh, this is done and in the end what i will do is that s dot push i so i will push it into my uh, push the current index into my stack so return and then i will return res so you know in this way i will get the uh, nearest smaller left so let's make another function called void print just to check it print what uh, vector int say array so for int i is equal to 0 i less than uh, array dot size i plus plus and here it will be c out array i am just writing this function to show you that it is working and c out end okay done i have printed it so i will and i will just uh, return zero return zero so you know if i run the code i will get this thing mm, i hope i have not done anything wrong here uh, nsr okay sorry I have not uh, written this function that is why uh, there is a problem mm. okay so you can see minus 10024 so this is what it is written here minus 100224 double so double two four so this is uh, this code is working so anyway uh, you know so this is giving me the nearest smaller left and to get nearest smaller right what i will do is that i will simply just copy this function control c control v and i will just rename it nsr and here what i will do is that instead of going from uh, left to right i will be going from right to left so here it will be nums dot size 
minus 1 and here it will be i greater than equal to 0 and i minus minus so uh, I think uh, and here instead of uh, pushing minus 1 uh, what I will I will push nums dot size so that is the only difference here you know if I uh, make a, a function called uh, sorry for the disturbance my friends are just partying out side so they are all just chilling NSR uh, so you see six six actually there is one problem what is happening is that i am filling uh, in this res vector in reverse order so i will just have to reverse it so reverse uh, nsr dot begin comma nsr dot end so now if i run it hmm, see you are seeing minus one zero zero two two four and six two six four double six so basically i have calculated these two arrays now all i have to do is that multiply using uh bus just taking one condition in my mind that is uh, this condition i should be less than equal to k and uh, it should and j should be greater than equal to k so now what i will do is that let's comment this out uh, so now i will uh, write a for loop so first i will make a, a result so int r is equal to zero so this is my score okay let's name it score score so now what i will do is that for int i is equal to zero i less than what nums dot size i plus plus and now uh, so int l is equal to nsl i and int r is equal to nsl uh, nsri nsri uh, okay so this l and r are basically what so this is the range now 0 to 6 so l is basically 0 uh, r is 6 so this is l this is r so this is thing and now comes uh, the main difference between largest rectangle histogram and this problem and the difference is a uh, I have to L should be less than equal to K and uh, R should be greater greater than K so I will write uh, this thing okay so if L plus 1 is what less than equal to K and and R is R minus 1 is greater than equal to K then only I will update my score so score is equal to max of score into nums I uh, into what into the range so r minus l plus r minus l plus 1 so that's it you must be thinking that why i am writing l plus 1 and r minus 1 here so the explanation for this is say uh, r l and r are basically i and j okay and here uh, it i am writing minus 1 so basically i am writing 1 less here it should be like zero here or uh, if i had to uh, represent i so that is why in in the here i will am adding one and in case of r you are seeing that here i am writing six but it should be five here that is why uh, this is r minus one so if you do a little bit of dry run you will understand it and now in the end what i will return is my score and problem solved uh, let's reduce the font and I hope I have not done any stupid mistake. I have done some mistake. So now I will have to debug it. Let's see what is the mistake here. So, uh, uh, R minus 1 is greater than or equal to K. L plus 1 score is equal to max of num sign to R minus L. Sorry, here I had to write minus 1. I'm sorry. Uh, minus 1. Actually, uh, here it is written plus one but i am writing minus one because like i have to this is the range actually r minus l plus one after taking into fact all the what uh, arrangements arrangement like shift minus one plus one thing so i have submitted it and it is 100 percent faster than all solutions this is a pretty long video so you know the main key to solve this problem is understanding this problem so you know if you have liked this video 
understood the problem please like and subscribe to the channel this is the code for it i will paste it in the description so thank you and have a nice day bye bye